Hello everyone, my name is Charlie Owen and I'm a Windows Media Center team member. I've been working on some demo setups where I copy a lot of canned content to various places on the Media Center PC to show Windows Media Center with typical content. I thought I would take a, you on a tour of verifying one of these demo setup uh, on Windows Vista Release Candidate 1 build of Media Center. So I do this almost every week and thought it might be kind of cool to record one and share with you. So the first thing you'll notice when we start Windows Media Center for the first time is the new uh, setup options. Uh, we have now Express Setup, which allows me to one-click get into Windows Media Center and start enjoying my content. It's very quick, it's very fast, and I think it's one of the best improvements we've made to the initial experience. So as you can see, within seconds of selecting OK, I now have uh, Windows Media Center and I can start navigating Windows Media Center and start enjoying my great content. So one of the things I really can't easily automate uh, with scripts uh, to get a machine set up for demo purposes is setting up the TV signal and the electronic programming guide. So I thought I'd take you through that and let you see how easy it is. So here I've launched uh, the Set Up the TV Signal wizard and uh, I've selected to go ahead and proceed. I'm confirming our region here and now it's going out to the internet to get the most up-to-date TV setup options. This allows us to add support for devices after we ship Windows Vista and not be dependent on what ships in the box with Windows Vista. So it goes pretty quickly and now I can automatically tell it to set up my uh, configure my TV signal and it's looking at the various uh, inputs on the TV tuner card, the uh, coaxial cable input, the S-video input if I'm using a set-top box. It's also scanning for multiple cards so I could have an ATSC over-the-air high-definition tuner. I could also have an open cable uh, unidirectional receiver as well and it would sense that. So it's going to scan the various inputs to find all the type of inputs uh, that I have going into my Media Center PC. In this particular case I have a single NTSC uh, cable connection from Comcast and that's what it sensed and so I can confirm yes this is what uh, what I have and select next and now we're gonna set up the electronic programming guide. It's found the signal it's ready to go for the guide. I can accept the privacy statement that says you're gonna send some anonymous information to improve the quality and service uh, and I'll say yes to that. And uh, we get the guide terms of service, which is a really long end user license agreement type document. And using the page down key or the channel down key on the remote, I can quickly flash through that and speed read and then select uh, I agree. So here we're going to enter uh, the zip code 98034 on the remote control. And uh, so we can determine which TV guide listings to get. It's going out and getting the options because there are multiple providers uh, in any given area and quite a few providers nationwide and actually worldwide. We go out and sense and figure out which one is the best choices. We present the recommended options at the top of the list but then also give you other options because of the variety. In this case it actually the recommended option at the top is the one that I, that I use. So it's downloading the TV programming guide and this took about two minutes. Um, it's getting 14 days of data so to keep uh, within the time frame of 10 minutes on YouTube I cut that. So restating it takes about two minutes to download the electronic programming guide. Finished, uh, finished with the recorded uh, or the downloading all that and finished setting up TV and now I have uh, my guide. I really went through that quick, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, uh, we're now going into the recorded TV galleries. Now you're seeing some of the thumbnails being generated because this is the first time I've gone into Media Center and placed a lot of content on there before I ever launched Windows Media Center. It has to generate the thumbnails on the fly. It's pretty quick and once it generates those thumbnails, uh, it caches those. So the next time I come into recorded TV, all of these would be here. You would not see the blank uh, placeholder images when I first come in. So. Here's the new recorded TV thumbnail view and you can see we've got what's called pivots so I can go to date recorded or title 
and navigate but we can also view a list so I selected that with the more information button on the remote control it allows me to see the content in a slightly different view more content at one time still have the TV thumbnails that are automatically generated from the content as it's recorded that's a pretty neat feature it looks for black uh, areas in the video and then takes the next non-black frame and honestly it does a pretty darn good job of selecting uh, the correct images to display. So that's recorded TV. We also have uh, the movies guide which takes a look at all the movies that are on TV. Again, you saw it go in getting the uh, the metadata, the album art, or in this case the DVD cover art from the internet, and I can see what's on now, what's on next. I can schedule recordings right here uh, from this uh, interface uh, by hitting the record key on the remote control, or I can drill down. You can also sort by other ways as well, such as genres and top rated. We also have a DVD library, which is um, all of the content that would be on a DVD changer, such as the Sony uh, unit that ships with their Media Center PC, or that you, as you can get as an option. And this allows me to browse all of that content on that DVD changer and select one and play it right from the changer. So it's a really nice way to enjoy that DVD library. Next we're going to drill down into the music library and kind of see all the albums and we can arrange these by album uh, album title. Um, we also have uh, a page up and page down functionality using channel up and channel down on the remote control to very quickly scroll through multiple pages of content. We also have again the pivots at the top of the page which is pretty easy to navigate to using the up button on the remote control and can drill down and select. So uh, here we are. Again, uh, it's going to generate the thumbnails for the first time use. Uh, it's pretty quick, pretty painless to do so. And now I can go, uh, I'm sorted by year, and now I can go down to the 80s, uh, which is the year that uh, I was hip into music, uh, kind of revealing my age there, sorry. And so anyway, quickly got out of music. Sorry, should have taken longer there, but trying to stay within the 10 minutes. Uh, this is the picture library and it's finding all the pictures that are, are in the uh, My Pictures folder. And again, it's automatically generating the thumbnails. Um, you're seeing kind of the performance as Media Center as it goes through its first run experience and generating uh, the content. Uh, this is the tags view, which is new for uh, the Diamond product, which is our code name for Windows Media Center and Windows Vista. And as you tag your images, you can sort those uh, in the picture library. So I went around here looking for more than just one item. Unfortunately, the library that I had selected had just one uh, item or just uh, just one item in this. And we kind of went a little overzealous on the tagging. So one item, one item, three items, and so forth. So I went over here to folders. Again, going to be generating a little different virtual view. Here's a folder uh, of pictures, and I can navigate those individual pictures. And then I can also go up and play a slideshow and get a really nice animated view. Now one of the neat things here is this picture needs to be rotated so I can use the more information button on my remote uh, remote control and rotate this image. I can also do some touch up. So I've saved this image now automatically and now I have the nice going back to the slideshow. So very easy to do this. This is a big uh, hit uh, with my family as we go on our various trips to see different places and coming back and immediately plugging in our pictures and rotating them and enjoying them almost immediately. Finally, I want to take you on a little bit of a tour of the video library. You'll notice that all these galleries are very similar. The usage paradigm is very similar with them with the visual plus the textual information into these. I'm going to drill down to a folder on here that I have full of Windows Media Video high definition clips. Again, you're seeing a lot of the placeholder text as it automatically goes out and generates those thumbnails. Uh, want to select to the limit. It's a Windows Media Video high definition clip that is a favorite of the team members of mine that I work with on the Media Center team. And here I brought up the start menu to show how you can continue to enjoy uh, your great content while navigating the Media Center interface and looking for new and great content. So I'm getting towards the end of the amount of time that I have within the YouTube allotment. So hope you enjoyed this little tour of Windows Media Center and maybe I'll take some time and drill down into some uh, deeper features sometime in the near future. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.